If you are a dog owner, it's essential to know whether your dog can infect you with the coronavirus, wouldn't you agree? According to the World Health Organization, the news isn't the best for our pets, so what's the latest? Before I answer all your questions, if you're a new visitor to the channel and you would like to keep up to date with recent events, please consider subscribing. Alright, let's get to the most crucial question. Can dogs get the coronavirus? The World Health Organization has claimed there is no proof dogs can get infected with the coronavirus up until now, but world sources report a big turnaround. Dogs can get coronavirus. How? The latest cases in Hong Kong saw one dog test positive for the coronavirus after staying with his owner who was already infected. Was the dog showing signs of infection? To accurately answer this question, we first need to take a look at what the disease's symptoms are, right? Some of the milder COVID-19 symptoms are fever, muscle pain, breathing difficulties, cough and tiredness. The dog tested positive for a coronavirus did not demonstrate any symptoms of illness. In conclusion, we still don't know how the coronavirus can affect dogs, but what we do know is that our pets can get infected. Now you must be wondering whether dogs can transmit the coronavirus to humans, right? Can dogs infect you with the coronavirus? Whether dogs can pass the virus on to us is a very intriguing question that is, as of now, unfortunately still unanswered. Why? The Hong Kong case is the very first case we found coronavirus present in dogs. Scientists weren't prioritizing this topic until now, however the good news is that we still haven't heard of any confirmed cases of dogs infecting humans with the coronavirus. So our pets can catch the disease, but we do not know whether they can pass it on to us. What to do if you have tested positive for the coronavirus and you happen to own pets? Should we quarantine our dogs? There are many different suggestions on what to do and how to do it if you are a pet owner who finds out they have the coronavirus. Since we know that dogs can get infected, it is necessary to treat them the same way as we do people. Ideally, you want to try to separate your dogs and other pets, cats, birds, etc. from people who tested positive for the virus. If you own a dog, first, ask your veterinarian whether they have received any instructions on how to handle pets, second, prepare to secure another home for your pets while you are in quarantine, and third, look into ways of protecting your dog from the coronavirus. Be ready to separate from your dog. How? Ask your family, friends or acquaintances whether they would be willing to provide a home for your dog, cat or other pet if you get infected with the coronavirus. It's also not a bad idea to ensure you have plenty of food for your dog in case you won't be able to visit the store. How to protect dogs from the coronavirus? Although we don't yet know for sure how to handle infected dogs, the recommendation is to act preventatively, same as with humans. Suggestion number one is disinfection. It's imperative to wash your hands thoroughly. The second piece of advice is to avoid contact. Do not allow close contact of a dog with an infected person, a dog to lick an infected person's face, and a dog to lick an infected person's hands. Preventative measures are the best policy. Consult your veterinarian and try to prepare for all possible scenarios. Although this is still a very new thing, there should be no need to panic. However, do be careful. We can't tell for sure how many dogs and other pets have been infected at this point, whether it is dangerous for them and whether they can transmit the disease to humans. However, if dogs can get coronavirus, there must be more than just one case in the world. We have already established that dogs seem to be susceptible to infection. Accordingly, we should take preventative measures and not expose our dogs to needless danger, wouldn't you agree? I will keep up with the latest news related to the coronavirus and do my best to report accurate information back to you as the situation develops. Would you like to see more? In the video description, I have prepared links to videos of the top 10 signs your dog loves you, things dogs hate, love and many more. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe to not miss new videos in the future. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!